Generation Me, Why Today's Young Americans Are More Confident, Assertive, Entitled and More Miserable Than Ever Before, by Jean M. Wenge is a thought-provoking examination of the generational shifts in American society, primarily focusing on millennials and Generation Z. Wenge argues that these generations are marked by increased confidence, assertiveness, and a sense of entitlement but they also face higher rates of unhappiness and anxiety. Through extensive research and analysis, Twenge explores the factors that have contributed to this paradoxical state of affairs. One of the central themes of the book is the notion of individualism and its impact on younger generations. Twenge contends that today's young Americans have been raised in an environment that promotes self-esteem and self-expression above all else. They have grown up in a world where participation trophies are common, and the concept of everyone's a winner prevails. As a result, they have developed a strong sense of self-importance and entitlement. Twenge supports this argument with data showing that young people today are more likely to believe they are special and deserving of success. This sense of entitlement is further fueled by the pervasive influence of social media. Twenge suggests that platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat encourage young people to curate their online personas, showcasing the highlights of their lives while concealing their struggles and failures. This curated self-presentation can lead to feelings of inadequacy and envy as individuals compare themselves to the idealized versions of others they see online. Twenge's analysis underscores how social media can exacerbate the disconnect between perceived self-worth and real-world achievements. However, the paradox emerges when Twenge delves into the mental health and happiness of these confident and entitled generations. Despite their self-assured exteriors, young Americans are experiencing higher rates of depression, anxiety, and loneliness. Twenge points to several potential culprits, including the pressure to succeed, the fear of missing out, FOMO, and the constant need for validation through likes and comments on social media. The book cites studies showing that excessive screen time, particularly on smartphones, is linked to increased feelings of isolation and depression among young people. Twenge also discusses the role of parenting in shaping the characteristics of Generation Me. She argues that the parenting style of the late 20th and early 21st centuries, characterized by high levels of involvement and a focus on self-esteem, has contributed to the development of entitled and anxious individuals. Parents' well-intentioned efforts to protect their children from failure and disappointment may have unintended consequences, as young adults are ill-equipped to handle adversity when it arises. Moreover, the book touches on the changing landscape of education and the workplace. Twenge argues that educational institutions and employers have had to adapt to the expectations of Generation Me by providing constant feedback and recognition. This, she suggests, can hinder the development of resilience and the ability to cope with criticism or setbacks. Twenge's analysis is backed by extensive research, including surveys and psychological studies conducted over several decades. She presents a compelling case for the existence of a generational shift in attitudes and values, even as she acknowledges the limitations and complexities of generational analysis. In conclusion, Generation Me, by Jean M. Wenge offers a thorough exploration of the complex interplay between individualism, entitlement, and mental health among today's young Americans. It paints a nuanced picture of a generation characterized by confidence and assertiveness on the surface, but plagued by high levels of unhappiness and anxiety underneath. Twenge's work is a vital contribution to our understanding of generational differences and the challenges faced by the young people of today. It serves as a cautionary tale for parents, educators, and society as a whole, urging a re-evaluation of our approach to raising and nurturing the next generation.